Hello everybody, my name is Mr Woods and welcome to the seventh video in my series of Game Maker tutorials. In this video I'm going to tell you how to make lives for your hero. I'm going to give him three lives and I'm going to make it so that at the end of three lives, when you lost all three lives, the game ends. Okay. The first thing you have to do is tell the computer how many lives your hero has at the beginning of the game. And In order to do that, you have to create a new object. So I'm going to click on the new object button here. And I'm going to call this set game because this object is where I set up certain things for the game. Uh, it has no sprite because it's invisible. And we add event and we say create. And then we go down here to the score tab. And you can see there's a live section. This first one sets the number of lives. So drag that out, put in three lives because that's the usual amount. Say OK, say OK. All right. Now it's very important that you remember to put set game in the room. So I've just opened up my first room, select set game from the list of objects and stick it in there. And you see this little um, circle with a question mark in it. That's not really there. It will be invisible. It won't do anything. You won't see it on your game, but it now has set the lives to three. Okay. So I'm just going to close that and save changes. Okay. So that's set the, the number of lives to be three. Now, Let's open up my hero object. Now you lose a life when you hit a baddie. So in this collision with object baddie um, event here, as well as jumping back to the start position, we have to do one more thing. We have to subtract one life from the total. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to score, and this time I'm gonna set lives to minus one, relative. It's very, very important that you click relative, otherwise it will just set the lives to minus one. So your lives will go from three to minus one. But by clicking relative, it means that your lives go from three to two, because it takes one from the, the score you already got, sorry, from the lives you already have. So by doing minus one relative, when you hit a baddie, it will go from three to two. Okay good so far. It's very important that you can see the number of lives that you have left. And there's an easy way to do this. Again, it's in set game. So I open up set game and I add an event called draw. And what do I want to draw? Well, if I go down to score and go to lives, one of these is draw lives. I think, I think this one here. Yeah, this one is draw lives. The position where you want it to draw the number of lives, well, I'm going to say x0, y0, that's top left corner. And the caption is just going to say lives, colon, and then give you a number. And I'm going to say OK. So now I've drawn the number of lives. Let's see what it looks like. OK. Here's my game. Now... I can just about see, I'm now on minus 20, minus 43, minus 51, okay, so it doesn't really show up very well because it's black writing on a dark background. All right, let's change it then. Now I could just change the font and make it stand out more, or I could do something slightly different. So if I delete that, go to score, and then it's gonna draw life images. And the sprite that we're going to use, of course, is my hero sprite. Say OK. Say OK. Let's try it again. So this time, instead of saying lives is three, it's actually going to have three images of my little man. There, and the, oh, and they've all gone. And now there's none left. OK, so I should be that should be game over. I should be dead, right? So what does happen when it's game over? Well, when it's game over, we're going to go to a game over screen. And the easiest way to do that is to create another room. So I'm going to create a room. And in this room, I'm going to write game over on it. Uh, and I can do that with walls. OK, so I can just go G -a -m -a. game. over. 
Okay, now that's really rubbish, I know, but it'll do for now. Okay, so in my hero, when I collide with the baddie, I jump to the start, I take one life away, and now I have to check the number of lives. Well, that's this one, this middle one here. Test lives. If it is um, equal to zero, all right, if lives are equal to zero, what do we want to do? We want to go to the game over screen. So we go to, where has it gone? There, main one. And this one here is go to a different room. Which room? It's room two, which is my game over room. And I'm going to fade out and in and say OK. So now, when you hit a baddie, you go back to the start, you take a life off, and you check to see if the lives are zero. If the lives are zero, you go to the game over room, which in this case is room two. OK, let's try. So I've lost all my lives and game over, my fantastic game over screen. All right, so that works. Okay, now obviously you are going to go ahead and you're going to make your game over screen a lot nicer looking, maybe create a graphic in a graphics package and just use that as the background. Um, I might do that later, uh, but that's it, game over. See you in the next one where I think we'll do score, so we can add a score. It's very simple. See you next time.